Mosquitoes are not only a nuisance, they can spread disease like the dreaded West Nile virus. And some of the work to protect us from the pests is happening right here in Winnipeg. What I'm interested in is finding different ways to control mosquitoes without the use of pesticides. To do that, Professor Steve Wired and his team at the University of Manitoba are researching two distinct methods. The first is growing sterile male mosquitoes in a lab and releasing them in order to disrupt mosquito breeding cycles. Wired says that program is almost ready for field testing. The other is developing a new type of repellent. What we know is that they have all of these little odorant receptors on their antennae, so their noses are their antennae, and they're smelling us that way. And what we would like to know is what odorants are they detecting from us, and how can we block that? This season, populations are already quite low. The city's average daily trap count right now is sitting at one. Meanwhile, provincial data shows the highest concentration of mosquitoes testing positive for West Nile virus are in the southern health region. The total number of human cases this year remains at one, and that was connected to travel outside the country. Infectious diseases specialist Dr. Isaac Bogosh says most people who get infected don't show symptoms. The vast majority of people that get this infection actually have no symptoms. About 75% of people don't have any symptoms. The majority of people who have symptoms will feel a little crummy for a few days. Fever, headache, muscle aches and pains, fatigue, but it gets better on its own. Today is World Mosquito Day, which commemorates the discovery in 1897 that female mosquitoes transmit malaria to humans.